Hi, everybody. Welcome back for another Tarot Tea Time. I have missed you so much. I've been out of town, which is why I don't think I've uploaded in like 12 days. That's got to be a record since I started these Tarot Tea Times, and I've been having withdrawals. So today we are going to jump right into the Tarot Tea. I have added a couple of links to some source articles below if you guys want to catch up on what's been going on with Adele. I might reference a couple of things that I've found in these articles, but for the most part, I need to dive into the tea because I'm thirsty, okay? I am so thirsty. It's been forever. I love you. I hope you're doing well. And oh, before we do this, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I see there are a lot of people watching these videos and I love that you're here. And I would love it even more if you would subscribe and join our little community here. Also, please hit that notification bell because then you'll get a notification every single time I upload so that your tea comes to you steaming hot. Nobody wants lukewarm tea, right? So just do, do yourself a favor and let's jump right into this Adele Tarot Tea. All right, so we did a little research here, and for the most part, I'm just going to say, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware, Adele obviously canceled the first weekend of her Las Vegas residency, which was supposed to be at Caesars Palace. It was a big deal, and there have been conflicting reports blaming different things. So Adele said that it was because of, you know, the, the panini, and that it was due to sickness on the crew, and that they just ran out of time because so many people were sick. Other people have said, well, you know, at Caesar's Palace, there are a lot of people, a lot of resources that they have that, you know, it doesn't really make sense to a lot of professionals as to why she would cancel, especially with such short notice. I think it was 28 days, or I mean, 28 hours, sorry, 28 days would have been nice for the people who were stuck there, uh, 28 hours before the show was supposed to start, which means, of course, so many of her fans had already flown into Vegas, spent money on flights, accommodations, which as you guys know, are expensive in Vegas. And and, you know, they were already in there and taken off work. So a lot of people were upset and want to know the tarot tea. People, you guys have been letting me know that you want to know more about this situation. Your wish is my command. Some of the tabloids and some different press outlets have said that there were issues before, you know, leading up to the cancellation that stemmed from her relationship with Rich Paul. Now she's in dating Rich Paul, who is a sports agent. Um, I did a little research, a little digging around in his Instagram. Looks like he's friends with Oprah. Looks like he works really hard and, you know, build himself up from nothing. So he actually seems like a really cool person. And Adele seems really cool too. I just, I'm hoping that this isn't due to some diva type antics. Anyway, they've been dating for about six months. Some people who were there behind the scenes anonymously reported that Adele was stopping during her rehearsals, like she would stop every few minutes to um, like call Rich and she was like crying and yelling at him on the phone, which that sounds, whoa, which sounds like super dramatic if you've only been dating someone for six months, especially, but really you shouldn't do that to anyone you're with. Like, I don't, it just seems really dramatic and a little bit, a little bit wild. You know what I mean? So, okay. So there's that. And then um, also other people reported anonymously again. So I'm kind of going back and forth between a couple of articles I've read. One was like page six, another one was Hollywood Life. Again, those are linked below if you want to check them out. Give me your opinion, comment below, see what your take is. Um, so other people said that she did show up, that she was there, but she showed up late. And because she showed up so late, due to, again, having issues with Rich Paul. She's been insecure, supposedly, because they live, you know, they, because he lives in LA. She was going to be in Vegas for like every weekend. And um, she was feeling insecure and had some trust issues because she was afraid that, you know, he's going to be at all these parties and like around all these NBA players and athletes and whatnot. Okay, so there's that. Why did Dell cancel her show? I want to get past, present, future. The past. It's the onset of this. How was she feeling about the show? Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so she was already feeling like there might be a lack of resources, time, energy, or money. So, oh, I just got goosebumps. So that's that's a truth. That's a tarot truth coming through. Um, that's interesting because Adele is such a big singer. She's so famous and does have so many resources. That the only thing I can think of is that from the beginning, maybe she was a little bit worried about the amount of time that it would take to get everything ready. Maybe she didn't feel like it was planned enough in advance. And she is a little bit of per perfectionist in the industry. She does have that reputation. Okay, let's find out more. All right, so from the beginning, she was worried about the resources at hand. 
could be the amount of time. The sun reversed, you guys, why is everything reversed? What the? What the actual T? Okay, so the sun card reversed. Don't love this. Don't love this at all. That means, ooh. Okay, so that means that like from the beginning, she wasn't really excited about it. Like it didn't feel like something that made her happy. She wasn't really that into it. She was just doing it more because why, like, why would she do it if she felt like there weren't enough resources to go around for it and it wasn't making her feel happy. What? Why would you do this, Adele? Why? Why would you sign yourself up for something that you've never thought was really a fit? Knight of Wands in the reverse, another reverse card. Okay, so Knight of Wands in the reverse leads me to believe that um, I just had to check and make sure my deck is reversed. It's not, so I don't know. I think this is just, wow, this is, sometimes the tarot tea truth surprises even me. Um, okay, so suppose, okay, so according to this, I think that she was not feeling a lot of passion in her life. She needed new inspiration and she needed, she felt like she needed to like reinvigorate or reinvent herself in some way, which I think that she has been doing. We've seen that, you know, ever since 2020, like, I feel like she's had this huge evolution where, you know, she released that song, Go Easy On Me. She started to open up more about her personal life, which a lot of people love. I think that's great. Very brave of her. I think she's written some amazing songs, beautiful music has come out of her truly sharing, you know, her struggles because so many people can relate. Like we can all relate to feeling that way at some point. Um, but I feel like it was almost like she was pushing herself to keep changing, keep reinventing. It's like she was afraid. She's like afraid for the momentum to die out. So I think she just went against her better judgment, her instincts, and pushed a little too hard. And then what, what happened is what was always kind of going to happen. Also, you guys, we have to take note that she was planning all of this during Mercury and Venus retrograde. So like next time, girl, Adele, call me. I will do the tarot tea for you. I will look into your astrology and make sure that everything is good to go. But um, yeah, I just, I just don't think it was aligned. So that's interesting. Let's move on to Rich Paul because I do want to know about her relationship with him. Um, and let's see if it weaves into any of the things that went on here. I want to switch gears. Okay, let's get, <laughs> let's get her relationship with Rich Paul. Past, present, future. In the past, the lover's card. Well, if that's not just right on the nose with the tarot tea, um, well, that's pretty precious. So there's a lot of love, a lot of sauciness, immediate attraction on both sides. That was like when they first met at the beginning of their relationship, which again was about six months ago. So like spicy. Okay. I love that for them. What about now? What is going on in their relationship right now? What is the vibe? What? The tower moment? <gasps> Guys, no. When the tarot tea truth is just, it's breaking my heart. Oh, okay, y'all probably couldn't see that because I'm using a different filming setup right now and this is blocking, but I'm gonna just watch me as I pick these up. These just fell onto my feet also. Uh, Queen of Wands and Three of Swords in the reverse. We're gonna take these cards because that was really bizarre. And I'm gonna say that they are clarifying this tower moment. You guys, there's a lot of energy here. I love it. Okay, I mean, I don't love what I, I don't love this part respectfully but I love the fact that the tarot tea is flying through. You know, I, you know, I love some boiling hot tea. Okay. <laughs> okay. So um, the tower card is all about a huge moment that changes things. Now I do not love the tower card. It sometimes it can be something good, uh, but usually it's something not good that produces something good. Do you know what I mean? It's like something bad that happens in order to knock down the things that are blinding us or, obstacles that are holding us back from our ultimate truth, but usually it is painful. It is a painful tower moment where something huge happens that just changes the course of your life. It changes your direction. And usually it's pretty jarring because as you guys can see on this tower card, there's like fire coming out of the window. Someone's right here, someone's falling out of the tower. Like it's not good. Lightning sitting in the tower. Like it's not good. So I think that this is 1000% referring to what's going on with Adele right now in the press, in her career. Again, 
check those links below if you want some details because it's a lot. And, um, you know, she's been having to defend her relationship with Rich on Instagram, trying to say that they're doing fine. People are talking about how they think that it's not working out between them. Like, there's just so much going on, so much gossip about her career and people wondering if she lied and made that up, you know, about canceling. And like, everyone's just, her life is just kind of a tower moment right now, you know? to say the least. So that's what she's going through right now. And we got these cards that just randomly fell out. And I think that this is meant to clarify the tower moment. I feel like it was attached to the same energy. So they fell out, which is crazy. But three of swords in the reverse is like three of swords is heartbreak in the uprights. So this is like an anti heartbreak. And then queen of wands is ultimate happiness or not ultimate happiness, but it's like someone who is like very happy and like following their, their truth. Um, the queen of wands is holding a solar plexus and it's a queen card, which we loved all the queen cards. So good, especially for a reading like this. Um, the queen of wands is like the queen of passion, following your dreams, pursuing your goals. The sunflower, I love sunflowers because if you guys didn't know this, the sunflower, and I've mentioned this before, it is a symbol of the solar plexus chakra. The solar plexus chakra is located right here. And it's like, when you get that gut feeling that like, you just want to go after something. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like when you get a yes and you're like, yes, that is right for me. And I just know it. And I'm just, I don't know why, but I know it. This feels so right. That is how she's feeling right now. And three of swords in the reverse is it's an anti heartbreak. So she's actually not upset. I feel like she actually feels like in a way, like this relationship has like lifted her from the ashes. So when she wrote that song, Go Easy on Me, you know, we can all see that she went through a lot and she feels like she made mistakes and, and, um, you know, she had a very difficult divorce and she really reinvented herself, reinvented her life, changed her body, changed her image, changed the way she dresses and the way she talks. And like, I see someone who is definitely queen of wands energy right now coming out of their shell and really owning this new stage of her life. And I feel like Rich Paul definitely has something to do with that. I mean, in a huge major way. I think this is a big resurgence for her. I love, oh my God, I'm getting goosebumps. I love to see it. Okay. But because we got those cards, I honestly feel like maybe the Vegas residency didn't feel as in a, didn't really feel in alignment with her anymore because she isn't feeling the way that she felt before. I think when she first started it, you know, we got all of these cards of her not being happy like things weren't going great for her I think that something has changed in her life as far as her happiness and self-confidence I think that her boyfriend you know I think Rich makes her feel hopeful and passionate and excited and like she can do anything so I feel like that gave her the strength to push through something that she was just willing to accept in the past so let's get some more clarity on what that is and how it impacted and why or how it influenced her cancellation of the show. King of Wands, stop, 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 stop. Ah! Okay, sorry if I screamed in your ear. You guys, we've got the King and the Queen of Wands here. I am so happy. I love to see this. Ah, okay, so whenever you get the King and Queen of the same suit in a reading, it's like a sign that this is like a divine partnership. So, Basically, emotionally, she wasn't in the greatest place. And this relationship has taken her from darkness to light. So she is really happy. And he is passionate. And he is successful. And he does feel good about life and excited about his life and their future. And together, they are creating something amazing. And there was something that went on behind the scenes that I think it was the right decision to cancel the show. Let's let's get okay. First of all, goosebumps because like this is that their relationship is a yes, like divine yes. So the reason that she is defending her relationship and the tabloids, in my opinion, according to this tarot tea truth that's coming through, it is because it's true. They are doing well, and um, she's defending their relationship because that is the truth. They are doing well. So they're more in love than ever, and he is helping her through this tower moment. One more thing. Oh, I, I just want to know why. Why, Adele? I'm sure all of you guys, if any of you are watching who bought your tickets to everything, you want to know why. What did he help her overcome? 
with that show. Page of Cups. Fresh emotional start. Again, fresh emotional start. Feeling renewed. Not feeling heartbroken anymore. Vegas. Okay, I got two cards. This is it. Okay. Eight of Swords. Self-created anxiety. Four of Cups in the reverse. Four of Cups is having everything, but thinking about what you don't have. Eight of swords is mental stress, but it's like, I'm, it's like being stressed out about things that you've created in your own mind. It's not things that are really happening or things that are really going to happen. So this is really self-created. So I feel like, okay, this is so weird, but I do feel, I hate to say this. I do feel like maybe she cut off the show because she was wanting to be with him. I think her priorities have changed. One more, let's get one more. What? That doesn't seem like her. Two of Pentacles, balance. Okay. Don't be mad at me, you guys. Please don't be mad at me. Please go easy on me. I truly feel like Adele canceled this show because she didn't realize how hard it would be to juggle her new relationship with her Vegas show. I think that she reprioritized her life and was like, you know, I can do a lot of other things. There are different ways that I can appear on stage. There are different ways that I can make things happen in my career and maybe doing a Vegas residency where I am gone for, I think it was from, it's supposed to be from January, like end of January to April, gone every weekend for months would impede and would, um, it would not allow her to grow that relationship in her opinion, for whatever reason, whatever's going on with them. I think that her priorities did change so very interesting okay we're gonna leave it at that for that tarot tea I just wanted to get a sip and I wanted to see you guys again but I love you so much please comment below let me know what you think what do you think the tarot tea is on them like do you agree with this and let me know who you want to hear about next I also have a list of tarot tea times to be doing this week so I will probably be putting out more than usual to catch up because like I said I missed you guys and can't stay away all right I love you mwah, mwah, mwah. have a great day and I will see you soon